This is the U245 Gallery at the College for Creative Studies. This is the student gallery and it's got a really great show called Detroit's Most Wanted. Ben Warner, Steve McShane, William Terrell. And uh, this is their poster. Here's my hand. We're gonna go. Ah! Wrong door. This is the show. Are you 3D artists? Yes. All three of you. Oh, good. We're going. What the? Uh, pay no attention to that music. That's my phone. But we're in here to look at this show. First, we're going to get an overview, and then we're going to get up close. It's always nice to have the artists around to talk about the work. And this is all um, forged metal and furniture and jewelry from the crafts department students. Now, I shouldn't have said they were students because this work looks beyond that. I've been in here for a while looking at it. Maybe they'll say a few things. look small and intimate, but they have a monumentality. There's another one down here. I missed it. Whose are these? So you into knives? Damascus. Damascus steel? Yep. I Had heard of that. welded steel. What's your name? I'm Ben Warner. Yeah, this is Ben's stuff right here. You know, when you look at this work and you meet these artists, you really ought to pay more attention to sculptural qualities of works that on the surface have a functional basis. Is this yours too? Mm -hmm. Everything on the floor besides the concrete table. Ah. How did this show come about? How did the three of you get together to decide to do this show? We're all students and we all kind of, you know, we, I would say that we all feed off of that industrial kind of feel, you know, and Detroit's got a large, you know, industrial background, history, you know, whatever you want to call it. And we've all just kind of fed off of the city, too, you know, and the longer I live here, the more I love it, especially being a metal artist. Like Detroit's the place to be. You know, there's tons of scrap, you know, places around, and I can go get my material that I need. It's just great. It's like Scrapper's Paradise. You know who um, Scott Hawking is? Yeah, I actually live uh, underneath Scott. Scott's my roommate. Scott's your roommate? Yeah, it's, um, that's how I'm That's where I've seen You've seen you with Scott, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. I know Scott intimately. He was one of my students. Don't get any ideas. Yeah. Yeah, did you see his uh, recent show? Oh, God, yes. I was at the opening. Yeah, so was I. I was there. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, it was a good show. So tell me about some of these. Um, you know, they're all just coming from a process that I've recently started doing. They're all steel inflations. And it, the, this particular set of work is more of a study. Um, all of these are study pieces um, for a larger process, larger you know, kind of piece that I want to make. The 
you're Steve. I like this one. I'm trying to get as, keep as slow as I can because I've had people complain that I move around too much. So whose are these? This is all really intriguing. And who are you? Uh, William Tyrrell. Tell me a little bit about these. I'm kind of um, intrigued. Basically, it's the same thing. Like, when I first moved to the city, I was really intrigued with industry. Um, and I like trying to fuse industry and nature together. So using steel and uh, wood. But taking it back to almost the, the industrial boom where things were really just what they were raw metals and like, uh, apparatuses and just nice shapes and forms but using materials that you wouldn't usually see. Isn't that something that's really nice? That's why I like it around here. I grew up here. And um, I've always been real intrigued with the, the urban roughness, yeah. you know, and how you can really live off the land. Is this yours too? No, that's Ben. Oh, this is Ben. Yeah, because while you're here, I want you all to talk on my... Yep. So this these is yours? Um, you said you can drink out of these? Yep. Um, this one is tinned on the inside. Um, they're both angle-raised copper, so if you start out with a, a, a flat disc. This, for example, was 12 inches. And then uh, you just kind of ham like hammer on it from there and you raise it up into a form. So essentially these are all one piece. Um, this is a cup. You can drink out of it. You can use it and do whatever with Functional it. Functional art. Functional art. And these are yours too? No, those are real. Yeah, that's the size of that. Oh. So where's more of yours? Um, mine is all the stuff on the floor besides that. So, oh. So all these pedestals, the five pedestals right here. So now this is sculptural. And this is this is some of my jewelry. More yeah, this is, the bracelet is forged copper and forged titanium with uh, silver wraps on it. And then the ring was a bimetal casting with the wax formed around the copper, and then you cast the silver into it. So. Oh. oh, so Herb is very proud of you all, right? Oh yeah. This is such a nice, clean show. I don't mean that in a negative way. I think it's, um, it's very professional. We would... Oh, God, yes. We, we, ex we expect nothing less. But you know how it is when people say, I'm going to a student show. Um, I think they get into their mind that there's something less professional and one of the things I remind them of is that here we demand of the students that they have a kind of a professional carriage about them I mean that's just that's, that's a given you know that's something that just should happen you'd be we surprised want to, we want to portray that too in our work I mean oh, yeah. representing ourselves in our pieces no this is um, especially for crafts too yeah we definitely need the bad we definitely, yeah, we get a bad rap and we have to, you know, kind really? of wait for it. Well, to some people, yes, the word, not everybody. The word craft in America today represents connotations of the housewife doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? I hate that when they say artsy crafts. Yeah. I don't allow that. Yeah, we're not, we're craftsmen. We're not crafts. It's just crafts. a difference between wanting to actually, you know, make, you know, but there's something to be said about making functional stuff with your hands, you know. There's, mm -hmm. there's an obsession there and there's, there's people that just... Well, I like the idea of handmade things and the investment that the artist has with the object. That there is this object, there is this form, there is this the solidity yeah. to that. And showing the presence of the handmade is nice because it's not 
these days in the industrial design and the industrial products being cranked out and you don't see the human touch. Right. I mean, a piece that you can see hands out work really takes it to a bit of a Well, this is a wonderful show and um, I'm really, well, I won't get you in that pizza. <laughs> wonderful show. Come and see